Before I log into the Juniper firewall, uh, let me show you uh, the current configuration and also the network adapter configuration for ASX, ASXi host and VMware Workstation. So uh, this is my VMware Workstation uh, and on top of it I am running ASXi host uh, 6. Uh, let me show you the network adapter configuration. As I explained in my previous video, I have a Windows 10 workstation and um, on top of it I am running VMware Workstation Pro 14 and that is a trial version. And then top of it I am running ESXi host uh, 6 and uh, where we have three network adapters um, that is those are uh, bridged with the Windows 10 uh, physical and logical adapters. So. Uh, in the network adapter settings as you can see uh, net zero is is currently bridged with my loopback adapter network one and two are configured or are bridged with the uh, physical adapter one and two and when i when i log into the vsphere client and where we this is this is my asxi login um, page so as you can see 172.16.10.2 is my ESXi host on this ESXi host as I, as I explained there are three adapters one VM network NIC2 and NIC3 NIC um, or VM network 0 that is my network adapter uh, sorry the management network and NIC2 and NIC3 my um, internal and external network so uh, Juniper SRX is uh, it's configured with two interfaces at the moment Juniper SRX 1 and 2 those are from my internal and external network if I go to the properties of Juniper SRX uh, as you can see there are three adapters on uh, on the Juniper on the firewall one is from my VM network that is my management network two and three that is similarly as an internal and external network so uh, when you when you install Juniper SRX, it comes with the three adapters, as I as I uh, shown you. And when you booting for the first time, it will bring you uh, in the login page. So this is uh, this is the page you once you when you're booting for the first time. Type CLI, it will uh, bring you to the login uh, that is uh, your uh, root stage then uh, in order to make the configuration click on edit the first thing you need to configure is the root authentication password so let me set uh, set system root authentication plain text and then password and this is the the first configuration you have to make on the juniper srx to save the config otherwise it won't let you to save the config now i'm back let me show you the interface configuration so as you can see there are two data uh, networks uh, for gig 0, 0, 0 that is from my internal networks and similarly as you can see gig uh, 0, 0, 001 that is for my external uh, sorry um, that is for my internal and gig 0, 0, 0, 0 is my for my external so the f at the moment i can't access the device from the local host so i need to make uh, the configuration but before i do the configuration let me show you the current configuration on on the firewall security zones so uh, this this firewall comes with the default configuration two zones trust and untrust zone and with the default policies from trust to untrust and trust to trust from trust to trust allow anything and from trust to untrust is allowed everything so let me move uh, this interface external interface to the untrusted zone so that i can access the device this host uh, windows 10 workstation is considered as, is as external network so set uh, set security zone first Security zone, security zone, 
untrust interface gig untrust set security is on trust under interface gig dash zero dash zero so this command is uh, is to move the gig inter interface to the security zone that is called untrust and then i'm going to allow host inbound traffic that is system services ping and ssh these two protocols or these two uh, lines uh, the reason why i mentioned these just to allow communication like uh, based on the protocol like icmp and then ssh to access the device from the local host. Uh, 